we had stereoscopes in the house. There was a big wooden cabinet stereoscope which took glass slides and there were many smaller ones and um, um, uh, and there were pictures from grand sites all over the world but also of historical occasions and somehow looking into the stereoscope one could lose oneself completely it, you know it formed a sort of vicarious travel I became enamored by stereo photography myself uh, a stereo camera has to have two lenses which are two and a half inches apart like the human eyes and so devices like this were you know enchanted me these the, these these little stereoscopes called viewmasters uh, you know became a rage when i was a teenager one had little reels of kodachromes and you could look all over the world and something like this is is um, is, is less clumsy than something like this um, but also one could get pictures printed in, in red and green and um, a new special special red and blue glasses to look at them or one could use Polaroid and um, also using red and green or Polaroid one could have 3D films. Really from childhood it was an intense interest and passion and, uh, and source of, of visual delight.